Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial for Adobe XD. This time I'm going to show you how to create an uh, animation, cool animation using Auto Animate. Let's start watching the example. For example, in this application, I apply for the loading with Auto Animate. You can see I made it slow so you can check how the effect works. And the second effect that I have used with Auto Animate is the slide in of each card as you see it, and the open of a card. So at the end of this tutorial, you are going to learn how to apply Auto Animate and to create what you see here. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is open our Adobe XD new project. And here we are going to create a easy template of a home screen like the one before. So we add the other, we add the title of the application, we cut up, but you can cut everything you want. Make it some bigger. For this thing, it seems I think to go well. So we change the color to white, maybe not full white. Okay, now we create a menu with single rectangle. You can easily create, you choose the rectangle by clicking F on the keyboard. So now that we have the rectangle, we are going to create more copy of this. Maybe you can make, more, make it more distant. And to style this, maybe you want to make those two shoulder. And we group this with Ctrl G. Make this the size a little bigger. And we have the up bar. Using ellipse, we create a circle. Put it in the middle of our frame. And we are going to change the color, maybe green or blue. I think this time I will go into for the blue one. And we add some as the sample on the background of the title and we call the title start start. Okay. Imagine that when the user clicks start we start to search. So we create another one, A4 frame, and choose the same frame size, in this case, iPhone X, XS. And the second one, we are going to have the same at that. But this time we are going to use a polygon or Y and create a polygon. Put it in the center. We are going to use fixed angle. We are using this so 
I can show you how to animate uh, a loading. Instead of this, in the real life, you could use other things like a line or a circle line that is moving. Everything that you can do in a look. For this sample, I'm using this polygon. So we can more copy of this. And the second one, we are moving this, this angle. You didn't see any changes between these two, but in reality, as you can see, it's zero. This is 360 degrees. So this rotate completely. Uh, that you can see from prototype. Uh, we link the frame tool with this way with a time that means that you have to do nothing and it will do all the things himself. Let's check the effect. Oh, it's doing nothing. What happened? I choose time. Auto animate, I forget this. Hey, where we go? So, we animate it. But, we want to do one more time. So, you can see one and two. Wait. Now, we created the loading effect. As I said, Said before, you can the I use polygon so to de demonstrate the effect, but you can use it. It's everything. Uh, you can rotate an image. You can apply it to everything that come out from your imagination. Now we go to create another one. But this one will be different because after some time of loading, the user finally get the result. The result here is some cards of food inspiration ideas. We just repeat grid and create more. Let's repeat grid. We can use this plugin. We can use this color plugin and search for it from here. We are going to use this that I have already, already here, the repeater. Repeater. We use the generate and here you can see all the category of things that we can generate. We choose food. If you agree with those five images, you can continue with them. Or otherwise you can lock those one that you like and let's shuffle again and delete the it's one that I didn't lock it. So I like those pipes, so I, I apply it to my frame. And it's done. Successfully apply by image. Close it and return back. Yes. Right now we are going to make another screen. And in this one we are going to I forget something here yes it's repeat grid but if you do want if you want to add shadow you have to ungroup the grid and and then you can add shadow not before in this setup, we are at 5 5 10. 
for the shadow. So we we re copy them to the frame server, and this one we are going to make this bigger. Ah, another thing that I forget is this. You to make the animate animation from one screen to another, you have to name them with the same name. In this case, I used to rename it another plugin that you can find on the store setting from here. Rename, rename it. We call them item percentage sign M. And you can see it will be called item 1, 2, 3. And turn back, and you can see that not right now they have no. It's necessary if you want the animation to do right. And this is why we are naming it. Uh, it's a unique name. Good. Now we get another rectangle for the description of the book that is selected here. Maybe we can use another plugin, the loading if zone, to add some text. What I have created here, wow, loading if zone. And we choose for the loading if zone a color of the app bar and then we make it right here we don't want the border and to turn back we are going to add a rectangle at each button and we can create it easily with the rectangle We create one line, then duplicate it and rotate it 90 degrees. Choose both of them, Ctrl D to group them, and after that, rotate it 45 degrees. Now we go to prototype and we link them out. So, this will go here with time and from here from the user tab on pizza we are going to this artboard and the second line 0 0.6 and from the artboard 7 we will go Going back to the previous, it's a simple that. Remember our work with our work with auto anime. Okay, now we are going to add effects. We move it down so we can choose them copy and paste and we move them all of the frame and to get the as more smooth effect we are going to 
move the set value to. So in this way, they're coming one by one instead of, of all together. And here we do the same thing. We choose them, we group them, and we paste them. We choose them, copy, and paste. And we move them out of the frame. Now let's check from the start. We tap start. Yeah, or get link them. Okay, tap. So tap, tap to rotate. So start to loading, and then yes, this card come in one by one. We click pizza and slide after. Okay, it's how you made this effect. Thank you for watching and see you next time.